Good morning, my name is Dr. Juan Brew, and I'm going to talk about tummy tucks today. But more than anything, I would like to talk about the entire uh, body contouring of the torso. A lot of people come asking for a tummy tuck because the only thing they see is the front part of their bodies in the mirror. They don't see the back side. But you can complement the front a lot by contouring the back side as well. So tummy tucks are very, very much a multi-layer operation and it works at three levels. The first level being the skin. Oftentimes, the skin is damaged by pregnancies or weight changes, and then it becomes loose and lax, and then uh, it just doesn't fit very well with clothing and things like that. The second layer is the fatty tissue below the skin, and sometimes, you know, with weight gain or even pregnancies, uh, that fatty layer becomes thickened and it takes away the contour of the body. And the third layer is the deeper layer of muscle that is below all that. And that part also plays a big role in the contour of the abdomen, and a pretty abdomen, a flat abdomen, usually has a very nice sturdy muscle layer. Now with pregnancies, that muscle layer is challenged and at some point stretched beyond what it can recover itself. So, it's a very essential part of tummy tucks to correct that as well by doing what is called a muscle tightening or plication, which is the, the actual term for it. I decided to make a change and try out something new, which is the no drain tummy tuck. How do you do that? Well, uh, the way to do that is to use suturing technique internally. So you can pretty much quilt the abdominal tissues or abdominal skin to the deep tissues with a special suturing technique that's called high lateral tension or uh, progressive tension sutures. So about two years ago I decided to adopt that and I haven't looked back since. The other thing that people are a little concerned or afraid of is the scar around the belly button and certainly in a formal tummy tuck the belly button is moved or in other words, the actual belly button stays in place, but the skin slides over it, and a new belly button is open in the center of the abdomen. And oftentimes, uh, you see people with not very pretty scars of that. I think a key issue in a, in a pretty dummy tuck is to make that belly button small and to look not like an operated belly button, but to look like something that was there all along. In general, it takes about two weeks to turn around from being a freshly operated patient to be uh, back on your feet and on the go and be able to drive and do the normal things you do. As far as exercise, a lot of my patients are very, very conscious about exercising. It usually takes about four weeks to get back to the gym and a little bit longer to go back to full, full activities. My patients really are looking for restoring their bodies to the way they looked before children. It's really uh, very inspiring to see how some of my patients, after the changes they see, uh, they feel so much more confident about their bodies and they decide generally to take it further. So oftentimes they go back to the gym and work a lot harder and uh, make it look even better. You can lose weight after a tummy tuck and not ruin it, but make it actually look better. And that's uh, very satisfying for me and for my patients when they feel proud about their bodies, they're not afraid of showing them, and they even take it further and get healthier in the process.